Hey, uh, it's uh, time for a second episode of um, the front arms of the car. Uh, I haven't had time to do much lately. I have been working my ass off on my regular job. Uh, so, um, I'm sorry for that. I have actually a couple of more movies to put up as well, or films. And I will do that afterwards. Today, this is what we are going to do. Uh, I'm using a little bit of too wide screen I can see, but let's go with that. Um, I'm using Casim, a program to determine some basic um, uh, positions and length and all that of the A-arms. Uh, so I have measured on the car on the frame different angles, as you can see here. Uh, I put them in there, and then I did a simulate to get some uh, measurement out. So if we go over here, I got this paper that says that my lower arm should be 480 millimeter, my upper arm 338. I can also see the positions where I should mount them. Uh, those positions if we go over to the car. Um, for instance, the under one should be from here and out here. That should be 219 millimeters. And the height from the floor and up should be 210. The same goes with the upper one. I have those as well. Um, so what I then do is I have laid out. First of all, the under one. I did measure it up. So I have from this here, I have 480 there. Um, I then have put this here, that one there, I should put another bracket there as well. And I'm going to do that there as well. And then it's easy, it's almost done. You measure up your uh, tubings and you fit them. So, I will, on the time, fix a couple of uh, more wooden plates to screw on here. So this doesn't roll away. Uh, I have also measured up the upper arm. That one should be roughly like that. Uh, I'm going to do the under one totally symmetric. Uh, the upper one I have not decided yet. It's up to me to decide where to put it. Uh, but I will do that when the under one is done. So I start with that. So I'll be back in short. So two pieces cut out and aligned. As you can see, I did put another one there and there as well. Um, so I'm going to tack these pieces into place now. Uh, just small, small tacks. Uh, when that's done, I'm going to cut out. Uh, a bit of uh, metal here in the middle. Uh, it's too bad I only have three millimeter. Um, but that will probably be more than enough. I will um, put some... Uh, I have four millimeters as well. I will put that in the middle afterwards, I think. Uh, so... As you can see, it's, it's not hard to create these. Uh, with using Casim, you get most of the values you need. Then it's just up to you to decide uh, the width and all that. Uh, the only thing I have got is the measurement from here into the middle here. That's more than enough. The rest will be decided afterwards. When this is done, I'm going to put it to the car and I'm going to measure in the height and the length between the centrum of the car and the centrum here. So that should be more than enough. So uh, I'm going to tack this together now and uh, afterwards I will show you uh, when I uh, cut out some uh, pieces here in the middle. So one of the underarms done or at least tacked. Uh, I did use a rather small plate there 
and um, it's not straight <laughs> sorry uh, I need to fix that that's where the damper will be mounted this is the one there so it's not hard it's rather easy except for me I need to adjust that one cut it up a little bit with a grinder and um, hit it down again other than that it looks okay time to do the second one hopefully I will have time to do both underarms before I need to go today so I'll be back when I have lay out the other ones as well and uh, that one I will show you a little bit more how to do it so There we go. Second one together. Uh, I'm gonna fix the plate in the middle as well. So, time for the last piece here, the little one. Uh, I did put up. Um, um, I don't know what the name is now, but uh, I have to actually be able to have this in the correct position since I don't have anything in the inside. I did this and it holds it out and it works as it should. So let's get this last one there as well. So, uh, it's, it looks okay, pretty straight at least. Let this, let this cool down a little bit, then I'm going to remove it to see that it's still straight, but it actually lines up with the other one. <coughs> the importance here is that they are equal both. looks okay. Maximum half a millimeter wrong, something like that. I don't know, not even that. It's really, really good. So, that should do it. Looks like the plates 
kind of decent. Should do it. So, underarms done. Um, I'm now going to weld them. The important part is when I weld this, uh, when I'm done this part here, I let it cool down so much that it should still be hot so I can press this in. And the other ones are done. So, uh, I'll show you when that's finished. So, this one is almost done. A little bit more. Closer. How we do it. Uh, this is the first one. Now it's time to do the second one. Uh, I will shut the camera off. It's boring to see two sides at once be done. This should do it. Um, so I'll be back in short. So two arms done. Here you have them. Um, looks okay. A little bit hot at the moment. Um, I think I'm really happy with them. Uh, it looks okay. Uh, to get this pushing in, I have this homemade here. Where you put this one on top there, and you hit on a hammer with this one to get it in. Quite simple. Uh, you should press them in, but a uh, hammer will do if you're just a little bit cautious. So... Uh, Welder on both sides should be okay. They are TIG welded. Um, the bushings here, I, I have to wait with them because I have nothing to press them in with and I have nothing to uh, stand and hit on. Because if I'm hitting here, this one is in, on the, in the way. 
So I need to go home to my father and get those pressed. Uh, otherwise, we are done. Let's see if we go back over here to the car again. And they should sit something like this. There. Um, I did measure wrong at the beginning. I did them too long. So I did recalculate and now I think I have the measurement really good. This is the under one. Next step is to do the upper one. They are shorter. Um, almost the same size already. So, But this will have to do for now. This is part two of the bearings. No, not bearings. The A-frames at the front. Um, thank you for today. See you next time.